campus, you can establish seating charts, which they want us to keep updated um, for COVID things. So if you go into Infinite Campus, again, make sure you're in the correct school. On the side, you'll see seating charts here. Um, I believe I had to select open. So let me just double check. I'm gonna go into my rosters and then back to seating chart. Okay, so at the top here, if I'm going to make a new seating chart, I'm gonna select new. And these are the different sections. This is going to be a testing chart for wheel. So you will click on your section and I like to not place students at first. Once I have my chart created, you can simply move these around into the shape of the room. Um, I don't know if you'll have access to my previous charts because you have a different infinite campus. Once you have your room set up or your chair set up, you can um, save it and copy the layout for another seating chart. So that will be helpful to you if you are making new seating charts for each wheel. Once you have the seating established the way that you want, you simply drag and drop students into the seating chart. When I first place students, I like to do mixed sex groupings. So I tend to do boy, girl, boy, girl. I've actually had some conversations with students about if this is the appropriate thing to do, considering some students may not consider themselves on the gender binary and this may make them uncomfortable. Unfortunately, this is the best uh, seating I've had for my classroom management. Students just tend to be significantly better behaved when girls are with boys and boys are with girls. Otherwise, girl groups can get too chatty and boy groups can get silly. So this is something I do. I talk to my students about the process that I have um, and just hope that I'm not making students feel uncomfortable. So I try and do mixed sex groupings throughout. Um, and then in the wheels, I pretty much keep it the same. In the other classes, I do allow students to choose their seats. And I'll show you how to change a seating chart there. So once you have your seating arranged, you simply place students. Um, you can also place students through IC. Alphabetically ends up being random anyway, because um, it just doesn't work out alphabetically the way the seating is usually set up. So you can seat them however you want. Once they're in there, you can move them around fairly easily and change the placement of students. Once you have them saved, you can also make reports for printing or adding to um, sub plans if you need them. So that's how you create a seating chart in IC.